So yeah, as we have seen before, rolling is not working yet. And for that, we can just open our UE5 many blueprint again and think, I think it's roll. So there are basically four animations and we should have them retargeted already. Let me, ah, the screen is way too small for Unreal Engine. So we browse to asset here as well. Copy the name of the montage and select the UE4 many, a uh, UE5 many. <laughs> At some time I will learn it, hopefully. Oh no, I don't know. I don't know. So it's just four mo montages, basically. Uh, TT Toolbox should provide a script here as well. That's very annoying to do this task every time. Or we change ALS to make it more accessible for us. Um, yeah, I would say play the game. And as we see, we have rolling animations, but the, oh no, I forgot something, the root motion. Shit. Root motion is not working. Oh, I totally forgot while retargeting how we can get root motion working. But let's see. Let's see if we can get it working very quickly. I think those are the only animations which use root motion. Let me quickly check asset browser and there should be a filter. Animation filters, other filters. I think there's also root motion. No, sadly not. And asset found, sadly not. Okay, we will see the role animations. Check editor. So it's rolling forward. And as you see, it's still in place, right? But if, if we go to root motion, and there should be enable root motion if we uncheck this. Uh, yep. If you uncheck those animations, or those two checkboxes, you will see that the character is moving forward and the root bone is animated. That's the red one here. And what we can do now is, yeah, retarget the role animations again. If we search for role, sadly, I, I totally forgot about the setting. Sorry guys, but we can get it done very quickly. Hopefully if we have the same things like we had in the old version, let me check. So you open the retargeter and you go to the chain mappings and there should be the root bone and there should be a uh, translation mode globally scaled. Ah, interesting. So, so you see root motion is not working here, right? And I think if I remember it correctly, this force lock here that's the issue force root lock uncheck this this one here and say save it and then normally you should be able to retarget the role animations as well so I, i'm doing a quick check check here and quick test so i'm using the role animation and click here on export selected animations save it to the content folder and export it is, and reopen it and then we check if root motion is there so we uncheck enable root motion and we see it's working now so you need to deselect this for root, root lock because i don't know why but it seems to mess up the retargeter and that's how i can get it working so let me quickly delete this one again so it's also nice that you see how I solve the issues and we go back to character assets, search for role and we just click all on all or we select all those role animations and then we go to characters, mannequins on the other side, animations and search for role. Mm. 
Um, you, I think th the better way is to quickly create a new folder and move them later here. Or we, we retarget them into this folder. So select all those animations, do right click, retarget animation assets and duplicate. We use our retargeter. We say ELS underscore to ELS underscore or underscore dot question mark underscore UE5 many. We select the folder. We go to character mannequins animations. We just use those folder here. And we should get four animations basically. So do we have here some curves that also works quite fine? Yes, we close this one, close this one. And we please don't freeze or crash. <laughs> okay, um, control S to save everything and select the animations. So now we can do the following and we can try to find the role animation. So we basically just delete this roll animation here. Roll. We should use this one here. Oh no, it's roll. Ah, it's the character. So replace references. Yes. Save selected. And we also remove this one here so roll add animation replace references okay save selected and now we can start replacing the montages hmm there a typo oh yeah i forgot one on un one underscore shit so that's why it's not found so replace references i selected so this one here i know it's a very boring task but it it's it's to make sure that everything works as expected replace references save selected so two more and then we are done. Delete it. So the last one. So save selected. I will also rename those animations quickly. Use this underscore. So that we have not some issues later down the road. <laughs> so hopefully you did it right. Or you choose a different name, then it's also fine. So now it's fixed. So we will also move all those animations into this LS folder. Might take some time to correctly move those files and also taking care about the links. And we will also do something more if we go to animation or mannequins, right click and we fix up redirectors because there might be, might be some left because we had some references and so on. So now if we play the game, Not sure why it's popping back, <laughs> but yeah, that's what I need to find out in the next session because here it's working quite fine. I think what we could quickly give a try is if we use this force root log option. I'm not sure if it will fix it. I don't know why, but this option is a bit confusing. Yeah, that's the fix. Yeah, I was testing the <laughs> ragdoll system and as you see, 
there's something completely wrong. But yeah, we fixed rolling. We have mantling working. We have the locomotion states working. We are very far already with this retargeting, yeah, retargeting journey. But the held object locations we will also fix later down the road. So yeah, see you in the next session and happy retargeting to all of you. See you.